Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com, and today I want to give you guys a look at the all-new race exhaust system our friends from M4 developed for our Moto America Kawasaki Ninja 400 race bike. Okay, so here is where we started. You guys know already we use M4 on all of our bikes. Their pipes make great power. This, for your average right, Kawasaki Ninja 400 race bike or street bike that is not restricted, and that's, that's the key to this whole formula right here is the restriction that Moto America puts on this bike. This pipe with the long canister and the insert makes the best power, okay? Now, what we learned racing all of last season was that on the Moto America bike that is restricted in that it has a restrictor plate in between the throttle bodies and the head, okay, it makes the hole a bit smaller, the intake hole, and it only revs to 10,350, down from like what, 12,500 I think. That a short pipe with a much larger, if you want to come around here to Lucas and take a look at that, like the inlet is much larger. A shorter pipe with a larger inlet makes more power. We're not gonna talk about dyno numbers or any of that stuff right now. You know, they did prove it on the dyno down there at M4. So we were at the barber round and Kyle and his dad, Richard came out and we were talking about it. And I said, would this be something you guys could possibly do? And they decided to invest the development time, right? These will only be available for Moto America prepped bikes. We've got one on Max's bike. We're going to have one on Joe Lamandry Jr.'s bike as well, but they verified on their dyno there was without a doubt a significant power increase only on a restricted bike comparing it to their standard system. We're stoked to run it. and Honestly, it looks badass. It's going to save a little bit of weight too because it can's smaller and you also lose the hanger up here. And it sounds wicked. And that's part of what we're going to show you right now. We did a little Facebook video the other day, and I let Max rev it. But we're going to do this now on YouTube. <laughs> To this point, it's funny how loud that is. To this point, Max has not used earplugs. That's how quiet this pipe was. Like we were talking, Kyle and I were talking, we were at the barber round, and you know, when he's going passing us there at the hot pit on the bike, it's so quiet, right? Probably one of the quietest ones out there. We're like, that is no longer going to be the case. So when we started this the other day, when I got this thing all bolted up, we're getting ready to get it dyno tuned, my man, Dwayne Hoffer, Hoffer Performance. He helps us with all the tuning needs on Max's race bike. I'm gonna get to go see Dwayne on Monday. Really looking forward to that. If you're local, if you're in Michigan, right? This guy can tune anything. He is the mad scientist of dyno tuning, Hoffer Performance. Look him up, whether you're drag racing, road racing, or you're a street rider, you just wanna optimize the power of your bike. This guy is the one who gets it done, does a great job. He's really busy, you gotta get a hold of him and book your appointment because he is simply that good. So Max fired this thing up, he started revving it, huge smile on his face. It's, I'll have uh, Lucas kind of get like a little snapshot of that shit-eating grin he had on his face when he started it. And when he shut it off, we're talking, he's like, Dad, Dad, I think I'm gonna have to wear earplugs now. And I'm like, yeah, I think you're gonna have to wear earplugs too. So there you have it, thank you to Richard and Kyle over at M4 Exhaust for helping us make Max Van and Joe Lamandry's Ninja 400 just a little bit faster.